Like I said, people, if you want more exclusive content, exclusive conversations, and much, much more weekly Bible studies and much, much more, well, get into that Facebook Messenger group. You can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. That's PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Diana Rigg. This is from Variety.com. Diana Rigg, star of the Avengers and Game of Thrones, dies at 82. Damn. When the fuck did she start? Or get casted? Or, or was first appeared in the Game of Thrones? Damn. At 70? Uh, That's crazy. That's crazy. Diana the bitch is 81. The bitch is 81. You know, 80, 81 is a, a satanic... 82. Oh, 80, 82? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. So, you said she died at 82 or 81? 82. Okay. Okay, go ahead. The Tony Emmy winner who splashed into the world television with her commanding turn as intelligence agent Emma Peel on the Avengers in the 1960s and played... Lady Olena Tyrell on Game of Thrones, decades later, died Thursday at her home in England. She was 82. Rig was a venerable figure in Britain's entertainment industry who worked insistently on stage, TV, and film. She famously thumbed her nose at convention in her private life, and in later years seemed to enjoy her status as a grand dame. What exactly is a grand dame? <laughs> I don't know. I know the. Uh, I know. I remember uh, the dog, the great dame. That's a tall yeah, that's as a grand dame, though. Dame, D A M E. I have dame enough. is D A N E. Oh, she. Oh, you said dame. Yeah, Dame. D-A-M-E. D-A-M-E. I don't know what the hell that is. Grande that, Dame. That Dame. must be some damn England terminology. Because, you know, over in Europe... Uh, um. Oh, yeah, yeah. They be using... Yeah, I see what Yeah, you know, like... Like, happy means gay, and a cigarette means fag. You know, so... You got a fag? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you know, what... I can't, I can't go to England, because they'll hate me. So much. Yeah. Oh, you got a bag? Um, no, I do not. But uh, looks like you do. <laughs> yeah, it looked like you won. You look like you wanted the ones that that I want to smoke. <laughs> but I don't want to smoke you. Don't, don't don't come to me with that England fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh, I'll pull it out real quick. I'll and, take everything with. Yeah, and the saddest thing to say about it, you know what I'm saying? The reason why um, R. Kelly's big hit song, Happy People, and Pharrell's song, I'm So Happy, hit number one, is because that was symbolically speaking and brainwashing and putting an X on the people. If they accept that music, and they don't even understand that that was gay music, Pharrell, I am happy. I will never listen to some shit like that. That song was number one when platinum, every shit. genre was listening to I that almost, song. I almost get sick listening to fucking love songs. And little do they know that they were saying, I am gay. Did All right, but not for nothing, Pharrell does look gay. Like, I, I actually assumed that he was gay. <laughs> he showed up his. Like, he looked like 
He he looked like a younger version when he first came out. He looked like literally a younger version of Usher with no hair. Yeah, the only the only gangster in the Pharrell group was that Eclipse dude when they first first came out. Oh no no no! I'm sorry, Pharrell and the, the Chinese guy. The, the so-called DJ. Pharrell's, you know what I'm saying, DJ or some shit. The producer. It was because when they first, you probably don't know when they first, first came out. When nah, for, duh. What song was it? it um, I, the first time I heard Pharrell, I think he was on a song with Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. Now, he came out way before that with a, uh, a Chinese guy. Yeah, nah. First time I heard this song of, um... For one of song, I believe it was. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was with Snoop Dogg. But he was like Snoop Dogg didn't have a verse in it, but um, he was he was like inside the video. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I know what song you're talking about. Yeah, but you don't know say even R. Kelly, the the happy people. That song hit number one. That's gay gay people. Symbolically, that's what they were saying, and everybody else took one of that song. Everybody else was brainwashed. And that's why you have everybody condoning this activity today. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Alrighty. Rig was a... Nope. She was a beautiful, kind, and generous human being that enhanced the lives of all that knew her, as well as a great actress. She leaves a great void in my heart. said... Lionel Leonard Riggs, longtime friend and talent agent. Having a key role in the biggest TV series of the past decade was a fitting career caper for Riggs. On HBO's Game of Thrones, Riggs recurred as Elena Tyrell, also known as the Queen of Th Thorns, beginning with the third season in 2013. She was an Emmy nominated for Guest Actress in the Drama for her work, on the show in 2013, 2014, 2015. Rick also made a number of notable appearances on the big screen. She played a significant role in the history of the James Bond film franchise by portraying with great Elan, Tracy D. Vincio, the woman who Bond played by George uh, Lenez Lazembi, Lazembi marries with great joy in 1969's on her majesty's secret service only to see her murdered by the minions of Fark billion ernest stavro blofeld blofeld on itv's the avengers the british espionage a series that blended sci-fi fantasy and surreal elements with caper story and offbeat humor. Riggs intelligent, witty, and Katsu, wherein Mrs. Peel was by far the most memorable. In the TV show, which starred Patrick McKean from 1961 through 1969 as Bowler, Pat Beckett, John Steed, the actress appeared in 51 episodes of the series from 1965 through 1968 and was twice Emmy nominated for her work. In 1967, 1968, and 2000, she shared a special BAFTA award with Honor Blackman, Joanna Loomley, and Linda Thorson, who had all appeared opposite McKean's Steed and the Avengers. A feature adaptation of the series starring Ralph Finnis as Steed and Uma Thurman as Mrs. Mrs. Peel was released in 1998. McKean died in June 2015. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't got too much to say about this because, you know what I'm saying, I never liked the Game of Thrones, all the Avengers. I don't even know what the hell them two damn shows is about. All I just know is the Gang of Thrones has something to do with the, the presidency or the White House or some shit. But yeah, I was never. I guess it's you know. I guess it's a political movie or show or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, regardless of the fact, this woman was eighty-two. She said you said she died at eighty-two. 
Yep. You know, I won't be too surprised if she died at 81 and they just put 82. Because 81 means 18, which is a ritual sacrifice. 82, really, that's nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? Just the same way they, you know what I'm saying? The other guy, the Chadwick guy who died at uh, um, 40, I think it was 42, and they said he died at 43, when he really died at 42. I won't be too surprised if they just put her age at 42 she died at. And she really died at 40, 81. I mean, I'm sorry, 81. 82, 81. But anyway, this is news. Like I said, people, if you want more exclusive content, exclusive conversations, weekly Bible studies, and much, much more, well, just join our Facebook Messenger group. You'll get a lot of wisdom. You, you get educated right over there in that Facebook Messenger group. You can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page. P-S-T-R Michael Smith on Facebook. That's P-S-T-R Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamy Israel. Till next time, stay tuned, and God bless you.